What's up, y'all? It's your boy P. Lai, aka the Brick Slinger. And guess what? Your boy got something to say. I know a lot of people are now all upset with this brother by the name of Charleston White. <laughs> He's been on interviews and been going viral with saying some of the most ridiculous stuff known to black men. <laughs> or let let him be let him um excuse me for my stuttering. Nevertheless, men in general. I mean, he's saying some of the most craziest stuff in the world. And he's going viral for saying these things and many people are doing it want to see this dude be canceled and all that stuff, but it's impossible when he's saying something ridiculous. But here's my thing. When you speak the truth, it's going to be ridiculous to somebody. Just like a lie is going to be ridiculous to those who know the truth. The truth is going to be more ridiculous to those who don't want to hear it. So when I say this brother is saying some of the most ridiculous stuff, I really mean he's saying some of the most truthful stuff. I seen an interview he did when the... Uh, I don't want to mispronounce the uh, the interviewer's name, but it's on the channel DJ Uni Uni City. I don't, I, forgive me if I mispronounce it or whatsoever. DJ UTV, whatever. I'm sorry. Please, please forgive me. But there was a moment where the interview was like, "Dude, we got all these gangster music and drill music, but we all know who's responsible for it." And Charleston was like, yeah, it's it's us. <laughs> it's the rappers. And, he tried, and the interview was trying to flip it and make it seem like it's the, it's the white man's fault. You know what I'm saying? It's the it's the white business um, owner, the bit uh, the white record label that pushing this stuff. However, Charleston was my dude for this. He said, uh-uh. He's not responsible for what you already had in you all this time. Like, you had this drill music in you before you came to the white man. You had this gangster music in you before you had came to the white man. And then he flipped it by playing the role. Like, look, I'm a businessman. I'm, a, I'm about business. If I know your stuff can make money and then you decided to turn around and do something else, I can get this get this little Nas X and do this gay stuff and make more money. I, he basically was like, look, I can get paid off of your ignorance. I can make millions out of your ignorance. <laughs> like, my dude said some ridiculous stuff, ain't he? My thing with this dude is like, he becoming that breath of fresh air after Kevin Samuels. <laughs> I know folks are going to get at me and be like, really, you going to say this stuff? But my thing is this. Tell me something, tell me something better. You may say somebody else can do a better job than uh, picking up where Kevin Samuels left out. The thing is, even though uh, Charleston is not speaking about relationship, he goes hard when they deal with reality. He he speaks about gang culture. He speaks about how twisted the black culture is. He speaks about how twisted the rap culture is. And how the media gets down. But at the same time, it's like he ain't saying nothing wrong. He's not lying. Many people may say he's lying, but at the same time, he's like, what he's lying about? And I guarantee you not everybody's going to come up with something solid. He's not going to come with something solid. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that I'm not saying he's perfect. However, one thing for sure, and I can guarantee you this. Somebody like Charleston White needs to be protected. Because he's saying some of the most ridiculous things 
That is so true. He's speaking on stuff that will encourage folks to step out and be like, man, put that under the rug. Nobody needs to know about that. Nobody needs to hear this. And if he would have ever did something like that, we would continue to do the same stuff over and over again, running the same hamster wheel over and over again and going nowhere. And one thing I can't I can't stand is when people know there is a problem. But instead of acknowledging it, instead of in, instead of in addressing it, and, and instead of accomplishing doing something about it, they say put it under the rug, sweep it under the rug. It's not a big deal. Well, in the black community, it is a big deal. Because you got somebody who's not afraid to tell the truth. My dudes speak the truth out with no fear. No fear. And at this point, that's how I should be like as a Christian. That should, everybody who believe that, believe in Jesus Christ, that's how they should feel. They should be feeling like there's no fear in speaking the truth. Although, blessed are those who will be persecuted. Blessed are those who will be persecuted. In all because of Jesus. All because of Jesus. Because we're afraid to speak the truth because we know that there's backlash to go along with it. We're afraid to speak the truth because we know there's persecution along the way. We're scared to speak the truth because truth be told, the minute we speak the truth, somebody going to try to bring some truth about us 10 years ago, 20 years ago. We're afraid to speak the truth because of cancel culture. And yet, here's somebody like Charleston White saying, forget culture, forget this culture. Forget a culture that represents something that is messed up about us. Forget a culture that continues to support the so-called enemy. <laughs> so forget the culture that is anti-knowledge. That is anti-intellect. Forget a culture that doesn't respect anything or anybody. Respect the culture that says it's okay to be disrespectful. And you know something? In this society, at this time, in this day, what's the point of backing down now? When the rule is, there is no rule. Anything goes. So at this point, if anything goes, so does the gospel. And somebody is going to check this video out and ready and willing to debate me or say something ridiculous. But you know what? I stand stand on mine. Because one thing for sure, ain't nobody going to really have this type of conversation with anybody because truth be told, somebody going to be the fool. And we all know fools are wise in their own eyes. And correcting the fool is a bad thing because the minute you correct the fool, you end up becoming the fool. You can't get wisdom from a silent fool, though. Believe it or not. So a foolish person is going to be be foolish, but they're going to be wise in their own eyes. That's why it's best to not have foolish arguments. However, when it comes to the truth, when it comes to the gospel, I'm going to stand on that. I'm all about the truth no matter who says it. That's an infamous uh, quote from Malcolm X. By the way, I'm down with the I'm down with the truth no matter who says it. And I salute Charleston White because he's out there speaking the truth. And many people will want to jump him and, and, and try to take him out, snuff his life out, all that stuff. But since we're living in the days of YouTube 
and social media and internet even if they do it today even if they mess around and get Charleston White his stuff lives on forever just like Kevin Samuel he's no longer here on this earth and folks still want to spit on his grave they still want to spit on his name they still want to spit on his legacy however his stuff live, is going to last longer than him on this earth Just like Tupac. Tupac music lives on forever. Pac been gone since 1996. It's 2022. And folks still consider Tupac the greatest of all time. Want to go a little deeper? Okay. Jesus died at age 33, but yet came back to life three days after his own death. And yet his his legacy still lives on. His teaching still lives on. His words is forever. His word was forever way before he was even born. So when it's all said and done, when you speak the truth, things are not going to be beautiful, but I guarantee you it lasts longer than a lie. But that's just me. If you like what you heard, there is a like button. If you dislike what you heard, there is a dislike button. Comment. Share your two piece. Share your two cents. Give me your two cents. And you know what? You can even disagree. But as long as you're not, you're not disrespectful, it's all right with me. Subscribe. Share this video. Let's continue this conversation. Until then, this is your boy P-Lot, a.k.a. The Brick Slinger. Go check out Man Under Construction. It's on every digital outlet from iTunes, Amazon, YouTube, music, all that. Until, uh, and as always, continue to sharpen one another. Support the kingdom. Support the kingdom. Take care and God bless. Laborers. <laughs>